What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here filming in my lovely little spot. We're going to get some sound clips of the stock active Mustang exhaust because today we are going to be installing a couple of different things from our friends at Corsa Performance. We're going to put their loudest offering as far as exhaust goes on this car and something else secret and spicy that i've not actually seen or installed or had before on a mustang under the hood before we dive in the video guys we have to see what this stock active exhaust sounds like well now i know it's active exhaust we've all heard them all but Hear me out. So my last S550 GT was a 2019, and I'm, I am swear that this one sounds deeper, louder, different. So maybe between the few years, Ford did something different with the mufflers, but for me, and I've heard this from other people too, that with the newer active exhaust cars, that they just sound a little bit different. Anyway, but let me set you down behind the car off to like 45 degrees at about 10, 15 feet, and we'll get some clean audio. Hopefully the wind is not gonna kill it, but let's give it a uh, Judy Varsity try and see what it sounds like, but let's get loud, let's go. All right, by the way, if you guys missed the past few videos, we have our new variant wheels. And if you like the way that these look or any of the variant offerings, guys, visit the links down below because I can save you a ton of money and I can get you free ceramic coating, which is always a plus. It's like a three or $400 value, free shipping, free wheel cleaner, and a free three year road hazard warranty. If you bend one, break one, crack one, they will replace it for three years. All you gotta do is go to variantwheels.com and plug in Xander 13 promo code, the discount code in the checkout when you purchase your set of variant wheels. But on with the exhaust, let's see how this sounds. All right, she sounds good, sounds healthy and sounds very deep. A little bit different, like I said, compared to what I remember the 19 sounding like. A little bit louder, a little deeper, but let's see how much we can improve it with the Corsa Extreme and their double helix X-Pipe. And if you want this setup that we're gonna install on the car or any of the Corsa stuff that we have, guys, go down again in the video descriptions. We have got tons of companies. Oh, my phone's ringing. Guys, yeah, sorry. Head down to the video description, check out the discount codes for a bunch of different companies down there below, but you can use Xander 13 promo code at Corsa as well and save some money. Forgive my voice if I'm a little hoarse, guys. I play tournament paintball, if you guys don't know, for dark matter here in the Nashville area. We just had an event. A lot of you guys may not know that about me, but anyway, just if my voice is a little crackly, I just wanted to say that. But so anyway, here we go. We have, of course, the Corsa Extreme going on our white 22 gt guys with the black tips we always go black tips and i love it and in this box though we have something interesting something that i have never installed on one of these cars before so we've always gone with other brands but we're going to go all in with corsa for this car and i'm so excited let's get started all right let's open her up let's see what we got team corsa baby let's go all right we've got a fancy little bracket here should tell you something inside of here let's see what this looks like again this is going to be my first time with this new setup and something very important that i think that everybody should have and we're going to put this to the test to make to, to be able to prove to you that these things are indeed 100 worth it and it is a corsa catch can that's a tight fit let's open her up and see how this looks like i've always run other brands in the past nothing wrong with them and they work perfectly but this is something newer to the market from corsa look at that that's pretty freaking cool looking i was told too there's a drain plug under here you can put a fitting down there and you can run like a line uh separate you know off of this so you don't have to unscrew it you could just like uh, turn something that you can make up your own contraption anyway I'm just gonna spin it off whenever we drain the oil and these things definitely do work this is for the passenger side which is the only side that you need on these gen 3 coyotes but it's fitting here I was told to take this out and then put some like liquid Teflon or tape or whatever just to make sure that we don't have any leaks so we're gonna do that but this is pretty sophisticated guys this is pretty intelligent in design and uh, what's also cool is this bracketry should look really fancy in the engine bay 
what else have we got? Let's get our fittings so we can put this together. And then we have our different hoses here. We've got our instructions, we've got stickers, we've got all those good things. So we're gonna install that in the engine bay and then we're gonna jump to the exhaust and make the car loud. Got a little thread sealing down there and your Corsa logo, the bracketry is gonna look like this, but these are directional. So you wanna make sure that you get this right. And then you have some adjustability here as well. You can rock it back and forth for your preferred fitment. But all we're really gonna do is come down to this eight millimeter bolt here that's just holding this wire harness. We're gonna loosen that and that is where this is going to fit in place again video descriptions check out the links below to save money on this kit we're going to put it to the test but i got to tell you these things are definitely 100 thousand percent worth it they do collect oil especially in these gen 3 coyotes they do 1000 percent work it keeps all that sludge and gunk and gases out of your crankcase from going back into the crankcase keeps your engine healthier for the long run this is definitely not snake oil guys i run these on every single coyote car that i've ever owned and they function and work perfectly this is a must have in my opinion in its stock configuration with the pcv uh, routing you don't need to run one of these on the driver's side not yet depending on your boost turbo whatever if you mess with the the pcv routing because i know that with turbo cars and stuff like that they do alter uh the check valves inside of here you got to punch them out and anyway that's a whole different story for a different day but as far as what we're doing with the car and what we're going to do in the future as far as boost because we are going to obviously this is definitely going to be something that is needed it's as simple as pull up on this little blue clip and slide these off there's a million videos on youtube with these but we've never run the course of cash can so i'm really excited and it looks like it's built and is going to function really well but anyway we don't have to reuse any of this ford stuff right here really cool that they've included uh new fittings for us to use so we're going to start putting things together i'm going to put this liquid teflon this thread sealer stuff on all of the fittings so that we don't have any leaks or whatever but it took all of about five minutes to install but this is how it's going to sit in the car just like that you see the hose routing it goes right into its factory locations and it looks nice and tidy back there all like kind of like tucked into this corner here now we can jump to the exhaust let's go all right let's open her up this is the active version which sounds deeper and better if you have the active exhaust from the factory love these guys love the course of stuff double helix x pipe definitely helps to smooth out some of the rasp that you get from a lot of these different uh, systems out there but this is it and then we have our new mufflers i love these systems love 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 them and with the black tips it's really going to set off the looks of our gt500 valance back here and give us four inch tips back here in black it's gonna look so much better so i'm gonna skip forward i'm gonna unbox the rest of this we're gonna get this thing in the air install the cat back real quick and make it loud guys so it looks so much better with the gt500 rear valves back here but it is now time for our first cold warm we'll see what happens start but here we go So let's go back to our spot, do some revs, and then a quick little drive with uh, a couple of watt pulls. See how it sounds. You guys are all very familiar, so we're not going to beat a dead horse. Um, my review, in a nutshell, is that it is worth the money, and you should buy one. 
let's do a little pull before we get up here to our spot and then we'll see what this thing sounds like because it's just music. Stay tuned for the videos to come, but let's wrap this up with some reps. All right, let's go.